Hi everyone, it's Kim McNeil. Uh, I was asked recently to uh, do a video on balancing and specifically on grasshopper pose. And uh, you know, this pose isn't for the raw beginner, um, but there are ways that you can practice it to get you closer to um, the eventual full pose or the classic pose. And, uh, and the process of getting there is just as fun as doing the actual, the actual balancing or arm balance pose. So I'm going to break it up for you in a couple of parts. We're going to start with um, a couple of hip openers right now. And then you can check back soon and uh, figure out where we're going from here. Okay? So, open hips. It's the first thing you need for grasshopper. One of the main things, anyways, I think you can uh, work on for grasshopper. So the easiest hip flexor or hip opener that I like to do is on the floor. It's safe, it's effective, and uh, you can hold this particular stretch for a long period of time um, to really get the benefits of the, of the stretch. And, um, and yeah, it's easy on your back and uh, accessible for beginners. So, hang out on the floor, <laughs> lay back, and uh, cross one leg over the other. Now, um, this isn't quite a yoga pose, it's a stretch that gets you to some some classic yoga postures, but it works really well. So you can start here, depending on your flexibility, slowly start to open the hip without pressing on the knee. You don't want to do that. You want to use the muscles of your leg um, to get your hip, really, to get the, the hip to open and the knee to go out to the side. Now, if you're able to, you can take the opposite foot off the floor and grab behind that leg right, and draw in this way. If um, reaching behind the thigh is difficult, you can't quite get there, then you can use a strap or something similar to give you that extra length. Okay? But if not, hang out here, take a few deep breaths, hold for a nice long, long while. You can switch sides, doing the same thing here. So we're getting into the, you know, the glute muscles, the piriformis, that sort of thing. And again, safe for the back. You can hang out here for a long time. Find your happy place if you have tighter, tighter hips. And watch your breath. Deep, even breaths. Now, the next step from there I like to do is an upright seated version of sort of the same thing. So you can cross, a little bit more advanced, you can cross one leg over right, open that hip, see how that feels, and then slowly start to draw your buttocks towards that foot or vice versa. Keeping the chest up, opening the hip, there's no limit, you can come in right close. That'll get into those tight spots quite a bit. Alright, so you work on those variations of that and then you can start to build on balance. Now grasshopper pose is done, um, or the prep for it is done in sort of a squat position. So I like to work on pesasin or noose pose for the next stage. So come off the floor. You can come into a squat. You can do this also from Tadasana or standing from mountain pose or you can come off the floor and do it from here. Feet flat, tucking the tailbone to keep the back nice and long and chest up. Okay? Legs together, you can take a very easy or gentler twist to one side, working the belly to the right to begin with. Knees stay together staying here. You can add a little bit of a deeper squat and lean into it slightly. You can work that elbow to the outside of the knee and press those palms together. There's this variation, pasasin, pointing the top elbow up to the ceiling, or you can stretch your arms up, and I particularly like this one. Or stretch them apart, get a little bit more opening in the chest. Right? And of course, you would do the same thing other side, whichever variation you want to work on. Okay? So try those hip flexor or, excuse me, hip opener first, then squat or pasasin with that twist. Get comfortable with those and then check back soon. We'll take grasshopper to the next step. Thanks guys. Check me out on facebook.com at Kim McNeil Yoga.